Lately, I am choosing to use a product for at least a month before I share my experience and review with you all. That's because, especially like a product like Apple Watch Series 10, which doesn't seem to have a lot of updates, it takes a few weeks to really understand the impact of the small updates. And this video is exactly that. A long-term review of the Apple Watch Series 10, which I have been wearing and using it for close to two months now. Hi, my name is Anjana and welcome to the Tech Girl channel. The Series 10 is a very minor incremental upgrade on the outside but despite that i still feel that the apple watch is the best smartwatch on the planet why do i say that you can get an apple watch for 400 dollars, and for 400 dollars, you're getting a very powerful smartwatch and a smartphone companion a very accurate state of art fitness and health tracker both of which are very important some devices are good smartwatches but not good fitness trackers some are good fitness trackers but not good smartwatches even if they are good fitness trackers one can measure accurate sleep and not steps while the other one can measure accurate heart rate but not sleep the apple watch is not just a jack of all trades it's the master of all trades that is very rare okay let's talk about the apple watch 10 i'm coming from apple watch 7 if you are on an apple watch 8 or 9 you don't even need to consider the apple watch 10 even from the apple watch 7 for most part there are some minor upgrades which might be exciting for some let's talk about those the design the finish i have here is the glossy aluminum in jet black it looks so good to be honest i was worried if it would scratch like the iphone 7 jet black finish but so far it's holding on pretty well there are three design changes the watch has gotten significantly thinner it feels lighter and the display has gotten larger those are the only external design changes same rounder square design same digital crown same side button speaker placement and all your older apple watch bands will fit perfectly fine in fact if you keep this next to apple watch 7 you will hardly be able to tell the difference but don't take these changes for granted even though they look similar they feel significantly more comfortable on your wrist apple has concentrated on the feel over the looks this time since the watch is thinner it sits closer to your wrist than before the sensor bump is thinner and this makes it more comfortable to wear for extended duration feels more elegant to this way second since it's lighter it also adds to the comfort let's talk about the display for a second apple markets it as the largest display on any apple watch that includes the apple watch ultra how is that you see the casing on the apple watch ultra is 49 mm and the larger series 10 has 46 mm but the display itself is a tad bit larger on the series 10 because of the thinner bezels than the apple watch ultra but don't get carried away by marketing even when you put side by side you cannot notice a difference it's that subtle even comparing it side by side to an apple watch series 7 which already had a larger display the difference is barely noticeable for watch faces apps notifications you won't see anything extra at all in messages and emails you may see half a line extra on the series 10 but it doesn't change my user experience with having a larger display at all that's the display size apple says the screen is also now brighter at off angles this again is not something i'm able to notice significantly the series 7 is already plenty bright even outdoors so no changes to my user experience as well the change i'm able to notice is the new ltpo gen 3 display the screen can now refresh every one second even in always on mode this means the second hand will also now be showing when the display goes to sleep mode it's like a regular watch now i really like it okay now for the reason why i even upgraded to series 10 from series 7 the battery well the battery life itself did not get a big upgrade it's still 18 hours of battery life which is not sufficient for one full day if i do sleep tracking but what has gotten improved is the battery experience specifically the charging experience since it didn't have a full day battery life i needed to take it out for charging every single day and that charging took like an hour or more before to be able to go till the next day so i was even looking at other fitness and sleep trackers with better battery life but now the series 10 has fast charging so charging it for like 20 minutes a day is good enough for me to get through till next day comfortably i just take my watch off while going for a shower and whatever it charges during those 20 minutes is good enough for me till next day including sleep tracking since i wear it at night as well this has made me more comfortable wearing my watch more frequently than before what used to happen before was it would take at least an hour of charging with my series 7 so i would put it on the charge and leave it there forgetting it to wear again for the rest of the day now i come back from my shower 
whatever has charged it's good enough to wear comfortably until the next day i don't know if all these make sense technically but in daily use it has made me use my watch more regularly than before now i want to talk about the excellent design engineering in the series 10 the watch got significantly thinner than before like significantly the display has gotten larger than before the display tech is also better to be brighter in off angles the display also now refreshes more often than before too so with the same battery as before one would expect the battery life to go down with a larger brighter and high refresh rate display the battery life is still rated the same and here's the kicker since the watch has gotten thinner the battery is now smaller too still apple was able to maintain the same battery life that is just incredible efficiency in a smaller casing they fit an even larger coil to improve charging speed now Apple could have kept the same thickness and given us a longer battery life which I will keep criticizing Apple forever but the geek inside me is excited to see this level of engineering not just that with thinner casing the speakers are 30% smaller but sounds even better than before too speaking of speakers yes the speakers sound better than series 7 and i also like the mic on the apple watch series 10 i used to be the person who criticized who would take phone calls on a watch looking crazy but i was out it was halloween night it was drizzling it was freezing and i was holding a bunch of stuff in my hand a call comes and i had to take it on my watch but it came in very handy i didn't have to fiddle in the rain to take my phone out the call quality was also amazing and my friend could hear me completely fine would i do it all the time no but i'm happy that my watch had this feature and worked amazingly without any compromise okay some more information you might want to know if you're considering the series 10 there is a depth gauge and water temperature sensor new on the watch i don't use the depth gauge much but i use the temperature sensor when giving my daughter a warm bath for a nice warm consistent temperature there is one downgrade too coming from apple watch 7 the series 10 is missing the blood oxygen measurement this is because of some patent issues at apple and they have disabled the measurement in software it may come out as a software update later but as of today it cannot measure your blood oxygen there are some watch os 11 features like the vitals app for health tracking and sleep apnea detection feature but these are software features which are also coming to series 9 as well okay i'm going to end this video with some thoughts on my experience on the apple watch series 10 i primarily wear an apple watch for two things one as a health and fitness tracker two i extensively use Siri on my watch to control my smart home in terms of health and fitness tracking apple watch is the most reliable and accurate consumer device in the market today i can trust the measurements coming out of the watch and make lifestyle changes sleep or steps or heart rate or activity it's just very reliable i've tried aura ring fitbit and other fitness trackers and there is a lot of deviation from actual reading when i try to compare against a baseline battery life was the only drawback of using it as a health tracker and the fast charging on the series 10 has made it a little more usable second i use siri on my watch to control my smart home when i leave the house i ask siri to turn off all my lights and when i enter a room at night i use siri to turn on the room lights i even use the flashlight on the watch using siri without needing to take my phone out i use siri to lock and unlock my car i use nfc payments on the watch and i genuinely reduce the time i reach out to my phone than before of course the siri feature doesn't require the latest apple watch but if you you're coming from series 6 or earlier the series 10 will be a significant upgrade to you in many ways i was going to ignore the series 10 because it didn't look like a decent upgrade on paper but after using it for 2 months i have genuinely come to love it okay please like share and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it also turn on all the notifications and hit the bell icon for future videos i'll see you all in the next one until then this is anjana bye bye